Hello everyone, I just wanted to take a quick moment to show you through some of the highlights of our brand new Urban V8 Land Rover 110 Defender. It's been picked up brand new and sent for its urban conversion. So first off we've got these 22 inch WX2 wheels wrapped in Michelin tires. You get the weighted arches all around, you get this absolutely fantastic roof pod. Then you get your side steps, you get some urban badging. And then coming around the back of the vehicle, we have the urban spur wheel cover. And underneath we've got the Miltec exhaust, which liberates a bit more horsepower. So they're 518 standard, but with the Miltec exhaust, it puts the power up to 525 brake horsepower. You also get the fantastic urban badging, just so everyone knows exactly what they're looking at on the bonnet and here on the grill. Then being the V8, you get these wonderful blue brake calipers, which are the nicest shade of blue. They're just really, really purposeful. And there's no other Defender that has these other than the V8 version. I'm just gonna show you the difference with this Miltec exhaust. So at the minute, it's in the standard setting with the valve closed. So we'll bring you around to the back of the Defender and you can hear what that's like with the rev. Now by comparison, we'll open the valve and let you hear it with the valve open. So as you can see, there's quite a difference. I love this Jeep, by the way. I just have to get that off my chest. I absolutely love this Jeep. I've never wanted a Jeep so bad, to be truthful with you. Obviously being a Land Rover product, the vehicle has all the Land Rover terrain response system fitted. So you've got air suspension all around, which you can raise and lower depending on the terrain that you need. And you can also select through the dynamic selection. You can select whether your mud, rocks, snow, sand. Look, we all know there's nothing like a Land Rover when it comes off road, and the V8 Defender is no exception. I'll just show you some things in the boot that I think is absolutely fantastic. First off, the boot hinges out. In here, you've got your domestic three pin socket. So that could be if you wanted to plug in a cooler or even a Hoover if you needed to give the vehicle a Hoover out. And you also have here a switch which can turn on the air conditioning and this can be activated whenever the vehicle is stationary and locked which is a fantastic addition if you have a pet and you keep a pet or anything in the back of the vehicle. You also have the buttons here to lower the automatic tow bar and retract it and you can also raise and lower the vehicle if you're putting in heavy items. In the rear of the vehicle we obviously have isofix fixings, we have our centre armrest and down here in the centre console we have dual zone climate control and we also have heated seats. There's also an abundance of charging points. And then up on the rear of the seats, you have a bracket for attaching a holder for a tablet and also a charging point. And this is where it all happens. The pilot seat of the V8 Defender. My heated steering wheel is not on, just let me fix that. The V8 comes with a suede wheel, again, unlike all the other Defenders, and it just adds to the special occasion that is one of these vehicles. In the centre console, we have this panel that can be lifted out to reveal cup holders, or if you choose to do so, it's deep enough down here to store bottles. Again, we have USB-C and a normal USB charge point, and also 12 volts. We have a fridge in the middle. There's wireless charging here as well. Then this panel is where everything is controlled for the heated rear windows, the heated front windows, and being the Land Rover, we have obviously the all-terrain response. Land Rover have done a fantastic job of sticking with some of the old cues from the original Defender in the styling department. One of them being the rear wheel on the rear tailgate. The only problem is, between the three headrests in the back seat and that rear wheel, the view out the rear window is really rather restricted. So Land Rover came up with quite a novel way of solving this problem, which I'm just going to show you now. Right now, you're looking at me through a camera system that's mounted on the roof completely gets rid of the rear wheel and those headrests and is a real good solution to this problem. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed our quick highlight reel of the V8 Defender. Tickets are currently on sale at McKinney Competitions for £21.97 and you really do not want to miss this opportunity to bag such a fantastic vehicle.